We sail Saturday at dawn. Yes, sir. And load this alcohol, Bill. The whole 1,700 barrels and no excuses. Yes, sir. And get a crew. All right for you to say get a crew, sir. Where the hell are we going to get them? That's your business. Looks like we'll have to shanghai a bunch of this scum. Oh, no. I don't shanghai my crews. Wilson, we sail Saturday at dawn with a full crew. Have them on board or don't show up. And another thing, no drinking or cursing on this trip. I'm bringing a woman on board. Woman? You, sir? My wife. I'm going to get married. I won't let you say no, sir. I'm sailing to Genoa this voyage for the cargo of alcohol. Italy is beautiful. We'll go there. But I couldn't go, Benjamin. Besides, Mother would never let me. I think she expects you to. Did she say so? No, but I could see it in her smile tonight. But I'm deciding this. Then decide to say yes, Sarah. I love you. Months and months away from home. Storms. Dangers. The only woman among those men. I'm really afraid, Benjamin. But I'll take great care of you, Sarah. Oh, you'll love the sea. There's something about it. The hot red dawns, the tiring sails, the wake on a tropical night. Oh, you'll love it all. It's a glorious kind of world. I couldn't live without it. And now, I can't live without you in that world. I do love you, Benjamin. Oh, that's what I wanted to hear you say. Somehow, listening to you, I'm not afraid now. I'm going to call your mother and tell her. No, no, not yet, Benjamin. But I want everyone to know. Your mother, Moorhead? It's Captain Jim I'm thinking about. He's coming here tonight. Good, then we'll all drink to my bride. He... He asked me to marry him, Benjamin. Moorhead? Well, I knew he liked you, but... You've been good friends, almost like brothers. But, sir... You sailed together, now you're both captains. And your ships are docked side by side. Oh, I'll tell Jim about you and me. He would have given up his ship for me. He wanted to open a ship, Chandler, shop in Ann Street. Now, I don't know what he'll do. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Ben. Hello. Sarah, I've got some news. McDonagall will sell the shop. Eight hundred dollars. Isn't that great? Jim, Sarah and I are going to get married. Jim! I love Sarah. She's sailing with me. Oh, Jim, Ben, I've come between you. I never wanted to do that. If you're sore about it, Jim, say it to me. I know you brought me up here to meet Sarah, and I fell in love with her. It just happened. The way I feel about it now, I'd fight the whole world to get her. I'm sorry if that includes you. Sarah. There's just one thing I want to know. If I hadn't come here tonight, would you have promised him? I want the truth, Sarah. No, Benjamin. Oh, I'm sorry. Even if she'd said yes, I would have taken her anyhow. There's something in me that would have made me fight. Hate, vengeance, even death for her. But I'm glad she said that, because you're my friend. And I don't want that smashed. Your friend, yes. And you went behind my back. That's not true. You went behind my back. If you say that again, I'll choke the words in your throat. I'll... Oh, please don't. I'm sorry. I'll go, Sarah. I'd have changed my whole life for you. Maybe Ben will do that. Maybe he'll buy the shop in Ann Street now. It might be better for him if he did. And never went to see again. Oh, Benjamin, I feel terrible about this. But why? We love each other. 
We're going to be wonderfully happy. There's a whiskey and he hasn't got a dime. Get out! Jack. Go on. Get out or I'll chuck you out. Jack, don't you know me? Who's that? Lorenzo? I haven't... I haven't got a cent, Jack. Don't chuck me out. Anton Lorenzo. Holy I thought you were dead. Six years. I wouldn't have known you. Gosh, I wouldn't know you either. Your hair, your... You don't touch her suddenly. What happened? Ah. Come with me. Come with me. Kicking buck. A great fella. Handsome Anton. We'd own this place together. You'd have had a packet of money in the bank by now. Jack. Let me sleep here. That's all I want. Sleep. That's what he said. He chucked me out of the place. I'll see Jack Sampson myself. Go back to the ship and keep the men working all night on that alcohol. Aye, aye, sir. Jack, I want a crew. Wait a bit. Dunk hard. Wilson so hard. How many times you done? Sure he did. The boys are through with him. We've given you a crew for years. Something you get particular, go to the shipping commissioner. All right. Try and get a crew. Oh, maybe I made a mistake, Jack. Forget that. Get me ten men and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go to five dollars a hit. Right. The next time I'll... Oh, What I gotta see? Oh no, Mr. Sampson. Not until I've knocked the block off of this dummy. I'm in training right now. Briggs, you remember Sailor Hoffman, the prize fighter? Well, he wants to come back. Yeah, Hoffman. What about training at sea? Russell, you're sailing on the Mary Celeste. Hey, what is this? Not on your life. The Mary Celeste, not for me. Well, better than floating down the East River one morning with your throat cut, Mr. Hoffman. 
Well, that's different. Why, why didn't you say so in the first place? Signing on, Mr. Hoffman? Sure, Mr. Sampson. I'll, I'll take this out. Hoffman! Robbins, you're shipping on the Mary Celeste. And take your music box along with you. If anybody should die on this trip, Mr. Briggs might like a little sweet music. There's your carpenter, Andy Gilling. And there's your cook, Tommy Duggan. Don't know the look of his face? Well, I'll get you a chink on a nigger. Oh, Lord, uh, don't take me, Mr. Sampson, Mr. Squire. I've got to fetch a doctor. I'm going to have a baby. Have it on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Goodchild. Charlie Kay. Charlie's an artist. Fancy pictures. And they look all right to his mother, but they look like a disease to me. <laughs> all right, boys. Pack your dunnies bags and get on board the Mary Celeste. I'll send the other hands along later. Thanks a lot, Jack. I won't forget this. Wilson. This is my wife. Sarah, this is Toby Wilson, my mate. Glad to meet you, Mrs. Briggs. Did Samson send those three other men? Not yet, sir. Well, go over and tell him I'm casting off. Aye, aye, sir. Here she comes, boys. The captain's bride. She's beautiful. Beautiful, aye. She's a pretty little filly. Always wanted a petticoat like that. Oh, a lady killer, eh? You ain't got nothing to write home to your mother about. Why haven't I got a right to a woman like that? Yeah, before we reach Jib, she'll be my bride. Good luck, Henry VIII. <laughs> Anton. What? Get up. I've got a ship for you. A ship? Yeah. Come over here. Bosun. Genoa. Cargo alcohol. 4.30 now. She sails in five. What ship? Mary Celeste. Why, Anton? What the devil? Who's the mate? Bilson. Toby Bilson. He was just here, in this room. Bilson. Here. I shipped his crew. The ones of Wilson. I thought of you, Anton. Of course, if you don't want it. I want it. I want it. What name? Gottlieb. A. Gottlieb. What ships? Second maid, Glory B. Bolson, City of Panama. All right. Bolson. Dump your dunnies in the forecastle and report on deck. Aye, aye, sir. My wife, Sarah. This is Mr. Winchester, the owner. How do you do, Mrs. Briggs? How do you do? Is this your first voyage? Yes. You'll like it, Ellie. It's a fine place for a honeymoon. Briggs, you're a lucky man. Don't I know it, sir. Excuse me, sir. Here's the register. All on board. Thundercats, 
Peter Tooley, May Godlieb, ten men. Well, I need one more. I can't afford to run short-handed again. But Samson's closed now, sir. Well, I'll borrow a hand from Moorhead. Get ready to cast off. Aye, aye, sir. Give me a copy of the register before you cast off. Yes, sir. Well, good luck. A pleasant voyage, Mrs. Briggs. Thank you. I won't be long, dear. Mr. Moorhead. Mr. Moorhead. Yes, what? Captain Briggs is here, sir. Jim, I don't want to sail with hard feelings between us. We've known each other too long, and I've always felt, well... You took my girl, Ben. I love her. I wanted to tell you I'm sorry if you're hurt. We may meet at Jib. Be nice if we could all meet as friends. Yes, that would be nice. That's a promise, Jim. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm a hand short. Thought you might let me have a man. Yes, I might let you have a hand. Devo! Yes, sir? Wake up, Groth, and tell him he's sailing on the Mary Celeste. Tell him to come here to me. Yes, sir. That's fine of you, Jim. Oh, that's all right, Ben. Glad to help you out. No use feeling sore about these things. Remember me to Sarah. Hope she enjoys the voyage. Thanks, Jim. We'll meet at Jib. Goodbye, Ben. I'll send Grote over right away. Thanks. Goodbye. You want me to go over to the Mary Celeste? Give me the cash box. Your wages for this voyage with me are thirty-eight dollars. Here, paid in full. What for? Next voyage with me, you'd like to be second mate, eh? Sure, I would. Something might happen to Briggs. He might never reach Jib alive. What might happen? You think that over. Oh, whiskey puts no life in man. Oh, whiskey, oh, whiskey. Oh, I drink whiskey when I can. Oh, whiskey, for the jolly. Oh, whiskey makes my nose so red. Oh, whiskey, jolly. When I drink too much, I go to bed. Oh, whiskey, Whiskey killed my poor old dad. Oh, whiskey, Johnny. But good old whiskey makes me glad. Oh, whiskey, Johnny. Oh, whiskey then and whiskey now. Oh, whiskey, Johnny. Oh, whiskey on the no but sky. Oh, whiskey, Johnny. Oh, whiskey puts no life in man. Oh, whiskey, Johnny. Oh, whiskey for me, Johnny. Get up, you crummy lovers. Stir your carcasses. Lively now. Lively. Heave to. Get followed into your dungarees and tail after the main sheet. Shang on. Shang on, huh? Want me to tail off? Manhandle you till your bones come through your hide. You're working for Toby Bilson now. Get up. Get forward. All right, Bilson. Mr. Bilson. Mr. Bilson. 
But before we get the jib, I'm gonna crack your skull wide open. Wilson and that man, it made me sick all over. Discipline, dear. If he hadn't done that, cats would have killed him. But why? Why do you have to Shanghai men? Well, I couldn't get a crew. I had to pick the best men I could and no questions asked. The scum of the duck. Oh, don't worry, darling. I don't want you to see these sort of things. I only want you to see the happy things. Rotten food, that's what it is. What does we are? A lot of dogs to give us food like this. Salt pork, mulligan, big stew. Be damned to him, I ain't going to eat it. And if you want to be alive and be hit jib, now's the time to howl. Well, what's the matter with it? Smell it. <laughs> you keep your pets off of me. Food seems all right to me. Oh, no, it does, does it? Well, I'm going out to see Briggs tell him what I think. Who's coming? No one? There are a lot of yellow dogs. Here's the... Tommy, what's the matter with the mullet? What's wrong with the blinking grub? What's wrong with it? Where do you think you are, sausage face? Who tells you to stop? What do you expect? Roast turkey? Look at these biscuits. Oh, they got worms. Shut up, Rose. What do you mean by crashing in here like this? I spotted you as a troublemaker the moment you got on board. Watch your grouse. It isn't the food. I always feed my crew well. Come on, what is it? It's the rotten, stinking food. You're lying. Wilson! You can't break the plane on this ship. Wilson, take this man out and teach him respect. Complains about the food and crashes in here without knocking. Flog some decency into him. Come along, Mr. Groat. Come along. I'm sorry that happened to you. Sit down. I can't get after that. There's something at the back of Groat's mind. I wonder... I'll remember this. Thank you, sir. Thank God you're safe. Groat just attacked me. Duggan here got him. This is a rotten business, Wilson. Who's at the bottom of it? What's going on among the men? Nothing, sir. Yes, this looks like it. Keep a sharp eye on the men. And find out what the hell's happening. Report the first sign of the Aye, aye, sir. afraid somehow. I... I don't belong on this ship. I didn't know that men could be so cruel and so brutal. Oh, I'm afraid, Benjamin. Afraid. 
sleep. Oh, my dear. Everything's all right. Nothing's going to happen. Now sit down and play that song for me again. My flash man, he's a Yankee, with his hair just for you high. He wears a cherry jumper and plays in the rainbow line. I don't know where he is, Annie, my dear Annie. Thirteen souls on this ship, and you'll bring a black cat aboard. Good man.
mine deserved it. I'd have done it myself. I have murdered my blood. Blood upon my soul. Get up, lovely. I can never thank you enough for saving me. I'll have to report it to the police from Gibraltar, but I'll clear you, don't worry. Cats, throw this fellow overboard. And in the morning, we'll give Charlie Kay a decent burial. Mr. Kay? Oh, what? I've lost two men tonight. Boom, crashed on me. Before he died, he told me he'd like you to have his painting. He said you were the only one that ever said a kind word about it. I have seen the travail which God had given to the sons of men. He had made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God made from the beginning. And Charlie Kay, I commend thee to thy God. You mustn't be afraid of death. This ship sailed, that sailed on her. What do you mean? Where are you for? Benjamin. That man answered me. He said, when this ship sailed, death sailed on her. What did he mean? Oh, just superstition. Oh, look on his face. I have never seen a man look like that before. Well, my dear old seafaring men are superstitious. Now don't think about it anymore, darling. Well, I will sail around the hall. I saw a big bus with his people song.
Mr. Briggs! He was lying over the wheel with a guess from a knife. Who had a grudge against Hoffman? Nobody. Somebody liked him so much they stuck a knife in him. I don't want my wife to know about this. And I don't want to upset the men. Put him overboard. Yes. I hope you like my new frock, Benjamin. I'm sure I shall. And I've made something for you, too. Mm -hmm. You have? Mm -hmm. What? Well, well, what am I supposed to do with these? Well, they're to wear at the wheel, darling, to keep you warm. <laughs> well, I mustn't let Bilson see them, otherwise you'll call me a... Well, I mustn't let him see them, that's all. <laughs> now, darling, I'm going to put on my new frock for you. I won't be long. All right, dear. Yes, of course. Sir. Do you like it? I can't believe you're real. You look like some... some beautiful painting. Grace. Charm. It's hard to believe your mind. My own Sarah, but you belong to me. Ah! Are you hurt? No. Who did it? I don't know. Wait here, I'll be right back. Wilson, give me your revolver. Now, wait a minute. Come with me. Search him. See if he's got a gun. Did you leave the wheel? No. Just a moment ago? No, I never left the wheel, not for a moment. Folks, any of you got a gun? No, sir. Not no, me, sir, I ain't got no gun. Any man bring a gun on board? No. No. Which one of you left the focus till ten minutes ago or came in here just now? We've all been here, sir, since eight bells. Sure. Nobody came in, nobody went out. Oh, so nobody came in and nobody went out. I didn't come down here to talk. One of you knows why I'm here. There's a bullet in this gun that's itching to do that talking. And I've got a careless trigger finger. That's all. A killer. I knew it. Briggs. Oh, 
All hands on deck. I want every man up here. Don't come off me till I find the man. Where's Gilling? I said all hands. Gilling is not in the fox, sir. Tully, find Gilling. Who killed Duggan? Which one of you? Been since eight bells. At the wheel, sir. Did you leave it? No, sir. Not for a moment? No, sir. He won't need it. Take my wife below. Young, full of the wonder of, of living, the glorious hope flooding my heart. Now look at me, my hair white, my arm. Like that ship. I was Shanghai, flogged by the mate, thrown to the hold, alive with wrath. And I was too weak to work. The mate tied a rope around me and dragged me in the sea. A shark! A terrible thing for one man to do to another. Leave us, Godlieb. Benjamin, I can't stand this much longer. What is happening? I don't want to talk about it. But if anything happens to you... I'm not thinking of myself.
Lock yourself in and don't let anyone in till I come back. What are you going to do? Do as I tell you. Oh, Charlie Brown is a light gun naggy. Away and the Roman bull. Oh, she dip snuff and chose the naggy. Spend my money on Sally Brown. Oh, Charlie Brown, I hate to leave you. Away and the Roman bull. You can fetch your life, I'll come back to see you. Spend my money on Sally Brown. Oh, Sally Brown is a high born lady. Away and the Roman I think she's got a Creole baby. Spend my money on Sally Brown. Sally Brown, what do you the matter? Where am I rolling go? She's a pretty girl, that's what's the matter. Spend my money on Sally Brown. I'm sick of that gut grinding machine. Now, please, take the wheel. Go on playing to Elwood Wilson. Mr. Briggs. Gone. Mrs. Briggs. She's gone, too. Gottlieb, lash the wheel. We are going to search this ship from stem to stern. wife. One of you knows. One of you has done this. Only three of us left on the ship. When the next man goes, I'll know who it is. The one who's left. I'll say that to you, Mr. Bilson. When one of you is dead, I'll know. One of you is lying. One of you will kill the other. And I will know what to do. John, but you felt terrible. You cried like a child. You prayed to God to forgive you. did it. He'll kill you. And he'll kill me. 
Unless... I'm going up there. his carcass overboard. Cats killed them. He hated us all because we shanghaied him. Come on. We'll drink the captain's whiskey. We'll have one hell of a night. I'm captain now. Come on. Drink up. Here's to the good health of the dead. Here's to the captain and his bride. God rest their souls. Dudley, I've got an idea. Listen, we own this ship. We can do what we like now. We'll run to the Azores, sell the alcohol, desert the ship, pick up a tramp and go out to China. What do you say, pal? Get me the cash box. We loot the cash box. We loot the men's chests. Oh, we'll be rich. And when we get out to China, We'll get ourselves some nice, pretty women. What do you say, Gottlieb? I'm not Gottlieb. Of course you're not. We'll change our names. Clever idea. I'm... Let's see. I'm Captain Abercrombie. I always liked that name. Abercrombie. Sounds grand and aristocratic. And who are you? I am Anton Lorenzen. Lorenzen? What's your game? Six years ago on this ship, Anton Lorenzen Shanghai on the Mary Celeste. Now, again, the Mary Celeste. And again, Mr. Bilson, the maid. It wasn't when the cats killed them. I put them overboard for the sharks. You? Yes. Briggs tried to get away on a raft with his pretty bride. But I got I got her, too. And now, you. What do you mean? I didn't forget you. I didn't forget this ship. I hate it! I hate
That's Mary Celeste, all right. There's something funny about her. She's tapping with every point of the wind. No signal. No one at the wheel. Who probably drunk below? Ask them if they want assistance. Ahoy! Do you want assistance? Do you want assistance? Lower a boat. We'll go aboard. Chicken cooking. Hmm. Never finish this letter. Never ate the chicken. Looks like they left in a hurry. Seventeen hundred pounds salvage. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. I'll sure keep my weather eye open for another one. I'm not thinking of the salvage. I'm thinking of Briggs and... and her. <laughs> 